Minji Lee, a major champion now. Well, last season she hit 79% of her greens in regulation, made 39% birdie tries. If she gets the ball rolling well, watch out for Lexi. How about Minji Lee? Again, we're seeing what Minji Lee can do. I mean, very consistent goal. At par 3 14th, Minji Lee to get a share of the lead. Nice shot below the hole. Hole location okay. tucked in the very back right portion of the green today. So to get it all the way back there, that was an impressive tee shot. Heading back towards the clubhouse, making the turn at uh, basically the 13th green on that back nine. This is Minji. Her stats for approaches this year on the strokes gained category from a number of different distances. Minji has a birdie putt here at the 15th. I think you'd be saying that a lot, Tom, for Minji, the way her ball striking's been. Yeah, it's pretty incredible when you look at the numbers. It's almost as though you can't believe what uh, you're reading. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Played a really nice pitch shot up to here. All right. So you get a factor that in as we go through this nine, but right now it should be about the same as the first few holes. And that's a six iron that's going way left. It's going to find the green, but then we're going to go too far. This would be a really tricky putt from back there, Jim. She looked at right about the middle, comes off that slope pretty good here. And then it might straighten out, but that's got to go. Trying. Yeah, good putt there. Yeah, Green's running about 12 on the sink meter. Well, Minji was great. Uh, Tita Green, we talked about that. And she struggled uh, with her putting last week. She was last in the field at the JTBC Classic in strokes gained putting. She was uh, 20 shots worse. She's got the distance to get there into. Then you got to make the decision whether you do, Karen. Very easy to run through on the right side here. That's going up to the left center. If you like it back in the middle. That's is long. perfect. You like the tees moved up all week? I love it. And I think that was a big disappointment to her. So she's got, uh, got everything going to try and get in it again. Minji at 18. Yeah, this is a five iron going just at the Chevron sign. Going to try to use that slope you mentioned. Ah, a solid shot there. Let's watch this one. Come on back. Come on down. Okay. Shades of Brittany Lincecum. The price is getting better. The shot Minji hit in the playoff to the 18th, the par five at Evian. To beat Jung and Lee Six. Really put the pressure on Lee Six. Minji Lee. Two putt birdie, she ties the lead. I don't see this jumping much. Just a little bit left of the hole. Good job. Oh, it's a yep. really good shot. Solid. That lie help there. So another birdie chance coming up for Minji Lee. Just a couple of feet left for Minji Lee to regain the lead outright. You knew she was going to win a major. Mm -hmm. And she talked about that uh, earlier in the week. We were watching her last week at, from Carlsbad at Aviara. As you say, Jim, it's a very different surface mm. here in the desert. It is completely pure out there, especially early in the mornings. It's just perfect conditions. Ball striking is phenomenal. It's just a matter of the speeds of the putt. So far, it's been pretty solid today. She was outside the top 120 in the putting stats when she got to Evian, led the field that week, and then putted great for the remainder of the season went to left hand low last year. Usually removes the ball from right to left a little wind back in her face. 
trying to carry about 180. It's turning just a little right to left. Yep, safely on board. And Minji Lee at five under. Yeah, just a fairway wood. I mean, trying to carry it maybe 210, 215 over the water, but just trying to get it about 230 to 240. At the sixth, Minji Lee to get to yeah, six under. Really slow putt, about 21 feet. I think just enough of that wind kind of kept that ball from carrying further on the green. Such a fine line on that sixth hole, though. Yeah. You know I mean, you, 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 you want to make sure that you get it there toward the hole, but you know that if it goes long. And Minji Lee on the tee. Yeah, this tee shot entices you to go to left, but that's not the place to go. But this is not going left. This is a good looking line. Yeah, the rough down the left side can be some of the thickest on the golf course and you can be blocked out by those trees, but that one is uh, just about perfect. Second shot for Lee. That was an eight iron from 141. A little wind back in her face, uphill, that's going left. And it can get a kick. Yeah, just hung on to the green, flag high. Minji Lee for a birdie at seven. Above the hole here, so quicker. And it's just going to be a par for Minji. Still, it's a very good first day so far. A couple of holes to play. Par 3, 8th, and then the par 5, 9th. At the 2020 women's KPMG Women's PGA. Minji Lee, alone in second place. Her 17th hole of the day. Playing 164 yards. Hole is really tucked in that little back. At the 8th, Minji Lee to get to 6 under. To the ninth. Yeah, the final hole of the day for Minji Lee. <laughs> Big dog leg right to left, par five. Seen a few players clip the trees down the left today, trying to cut too much of the corner off, but that one was just Absol prime. I mean, just stunning. I mean, very fortunate that they have kind of trimmed some of those trees down the left to allow players to do just that. Flew all the way, flag high. In fact, shouldn't be too bad from over there, Karen. Minji's third, just get that one on the green, get it running to the hole. She's had good touch, Tom, with those little shots around the green. Minji Lee to finish at six under par. And that ties her for the lead after that cut show bogey. So a really good opening round for the Australian player. Looking to add a second major championship title this week.